Michael Jackson's death ruled as a homicide, Chris Brown gets sentenced, and we remember Aaliyah. All that and more in this week's Hip Hollywood Weekly Wrap. been a crazy, crazy week, y'all, so let's get right into it. First up, Michael Jackson's toxicology report came in on Monday, and the results were shocking. According to the search warrant affidavit unsealed in Houston this week, the LA County Coroner's report revealed that within a span of nine hours, Michael Jackson was given four different pain-relieving medications and sedatives. The lethal combination and frequency ultimately caused the death of the star. Looks like time is ticking for Dr. Conrad Murray. We will, of course, keep you updated on the story. Another pop star with legal issues made news this week. After six months of wondering his fate, Chris Brown was sentenced to serve five years of probation and 180 days of hard labor for assaulting Rihanna back in February. Along with the aforementioned punishment, Chris is also required to complete domestic violence counseling and appear in court every three months for a progress report. The judge also put a restraining order in place requiring Brown to stay 100 yards away from Rihanna, but modified the space to 10 yards if the two are at the same industry event. On Tuesday, a spokesperson for the court said the judge was not pleased when she heard rumors and reports in the media that Chris and Rihanna had violated the previous restrictive order. The, the judge did make a remark in open court that she has heard media reports about uh, them being uh, in close proximity and she said she's not amused and uh, she warned him that if he violates a protective order that's a violation of, the, of his probationary terms and he might go to state prison. Now the very detailed report about what happened that night also made public yesterday and I gotta tell you that was some of the most disturbing reading I've done in a long long time. I'm talking like worse than Stephen King. I hope these two can kind of put their lives back together and move on and continue to make great music. Let's switch gears and move on to another music artist with far less drama. Kid Cudi's debut album drops next month and when he stopped by our studio this week, he talked about his very first VMA nomination and the stiff competition within the best new artist category. Being nominated um, really kind of like makes me feel like, yeah, like I've arrived and, you know, that's good enough for me, like whether I win or not, like being nominated, being recognized is like the best part of it all, you know? When I saw the rest of the nominees, I knew I was going to lose, <laughs> you know, and that's why I said being nominated is cool me because I know I'm going to lose. However, um, it's an honor to be with these great artists and it's not just a bunch of artists that are, you know, popular because they're popular. Like all these artists bring something to the table and they're very creative. Cuddy's album, Man on the Moon, The End of Day, drops September 15th. We here at Hip Hollywood don't just want to talk to the stars, we want to talk to you. So starting next Monday, August 31st, we'll be you streaming live 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time every single morning. We want to hear what you have to say about everything that's going on. Everything from music to fashion to food, anything that's on your mind, we want to know. So make sure you find us at ustream.tv backslash hip Hollywood at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And finally, Tuesday, August 25th, marked the eighth year anniversary of the passing of Aaliyah. Her music, her style, and her spirit continue to leave a lasting impression on her fans, both old and new. This week on HipHollywood.com, we ask you to share some of your thoughts and memories on the R&B star. Here's what you had to say. Joseph says, Aaliyah was the most humble and sweetest person to ever enter the world of hip-hop and R&B. Her personality still shines today in the memories she has left behind in video, and her spirit remains with each and every one of her fans through her music. Now, I was only eight years old at the time of her death, and I had really no idea of any artist in the industry. A few years later, she captured my attention and became the most influential inspiration that this guy could have. Yes, I'm a guy. Robin says, A love, you are missed beyond belief. Okay, I feel weird talking to her. Her beauty and artistic swagger still lives today. She had me jamming during the day when people actually bought albums and we couldn't wait to see the VMAs. Now we're steady bootlegging and really could care less to watch Britney trip across stage in a throwback two-piece. 
Elon says, I'm glad you're still honoring Aaliyah. She was a very important part of our music industry, and as someone who had the pleasure of interviewing her and her snake before her untimely death, I'm glad to know she still resonates. Now before we wrap things up, I just want to remind you about the Ustream broadcast starting next Monday, August 31st at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to close out this week's show with my favorite Aaliyah music video, More Than a Woman. Be sure to check us next week.